What's up guys, Andre here with a fun little update or a tidbit if you will on Harvest Moon 64. That's right, the same game that came out back in December of 1999 on the Nintendo 64. So you might be wondering why are we making this update now instead of almost 20 years ago when the game first came out. And that's because the game was recently re-released on the Wii U Virtual Console eShop, or Wii U eShop Virtual Console I guess. And it brought to light a question that longtime fans have had since their original game. And that is, why is the game's publisher, Natsume, misspelled on the tile screen being Natume? It's missing the S. So what the heck happened there? Well, Natsume finally addressed this in one of their State of the Farm monthly updates that they posted to their Facebook page, in which they explained that back when Harvest Moon 64 was being developed, uh, communication tools weren't quite what they are today, so getting messages to and from Japan took a lot longer than it would um, in the game were being developed in this day and age. And as part of that, the request to fix a typo on the tile screen apparently fell through the cracks. And when the correction request was finally rediscovered, it was too late, because the game had already been approved by Nintendo and was set to go into production. Now, Natsume does go on to say that they could delay the game if they wanted to, but here's the main problem. The game was set for release in December, just before the busy Christmas season, and evidently, fixing the game and sending it for re-certification from Nintendo would have added 45 more days to the publish time, which means it would have not only pushed it way out of December, but into February. Which, as you can probably guess, ruled that out as a possibility since hitting Christmas was pretty essential. And let me tell you, as a huge fan of Harvest Moon 64, they totally made the right call. I mean, that game is already so riddled with typos and grammatical errors that it doesn't really matter. I mean, yeah, it's funny that the game's own publisher is misspelled on the title screen, but it really only adds to the charm. This was a different, simpler era, where we were happy just to have this game come over stateside at all. So the fact that the game's publisher was misspelled in a game already riddled with typos and grammatical errors really wasn't that big of a deal. But it is pretty cool to hear the behind the scenes details of why exactly that happened. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Of course, stay tuned to Game Explain for more little random tidbits like this and other things gaming as well. Catch you later. Bye.